application is done for now. So let's go ahead and start working on our main area for the home page. First thing we're going to do is a sidebar and I'm going to go back to my index.html and I'm going to create, uh, actually I'm going to fold this code just to get it out of the way, make things a little more readable. I'm going to hit command alt and left bracket and it's going to fold all that code. And I'll just put end of header. There we go. That way I'll know what this little yellow block means and uh, my code will be nice and readable. We're going to have two divs. The first one is going to have a class of span4. The second one will have a class of span8. It's going to command shift D or control shift D if you're on a Windows. And there we go. I'm going to give this an ID of sidebar. And the first thing we're going to put inside that div is a form, just to show off some of the bootstrap uh, form features. And we're going to put that form inside of a div, the class of well. And this is a new one we haven't talked about yet. If I hit save and I go back to my browser, you'll see this nice rounded box with a gray background. And uh, it'll look really nice behind our form. So I'm going to open up a form tag. And within that form tag, I'm going to have, oops, field set. And I'm going to have a legend. And we'll call this form a login. And we'll have an input type of text. And uh, we'll put a placeholder on it. And we'll put username. I'm going to copy that. Command Shift D. And in this one, I'll put password. Also, going to need a button for a login button. Put an input type. Put to submit. And if you remember from the very first video of getting started, you can actually use a class called BTN to give you a button look. I'm going to use um, BTN primary. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. And it's going to have a value equal to login. Close that out. I'm going to have another button, but this time it's going to be an anchor tag, uh, just so I can show you that you can also uh, assign the button class to anchors to make them appear as buttons. And we'll leave that one. Actually, let's make it a nice blue color. We'll give it a class of BTN info. And Put register. We'll hit save. Go back to our browser and hit refresh. And it seems like the login button is kind of out of place here. Um, that's not a big deal. You can also style input types in Bootstrap. And if I have a class of input dash block dash level I'm going to copy that paste it right under here and save go back to my browser and hit refresh there you go now it's nicely formatted that input dash block dash level class uh, stretched out this whole field uh, to the width of its parent and uh, it pushed that login button down, so uh, now we're good. A lot of times forms have some type of remember me checkbox or uh, some indicator that'll let you know that you have the option to stay logged in. So we'll add one of those and we'll put it right under our input type of text. And we'll have type equals J. 
checkbox. And we'll put remember me. We'll hit save and refresh. And uh, what do you know? It looks thrown off again. But we'll let Bootstrap save the day again. We can add labels to our inputs. And we'll give it a class equals checkbox. I'll just cut that out. I'll put it right here. And hit save. No, oh, hit save. Go back to the browser and hit refresh and that looks better. Now it's nicely formatted.